gehört. Hello and welcome. Annika I'm Annika Hansen. In this tutorial, we would like to explain how to put on the wigs from my new hairstyle collection correctly and to wear them the most natural way. To start with, you take your own hair, especially when your hair is longer, just like mine, to plate it on your head. Firstly, you part your hair. You can do this with a standard brush. I've plated four braids. I will turn around so you can see. Depending on the quality of your hair, you might do several small plates with thinner hair like mine, about four is enough. And now you plate them very tightly and turn them close to your head. Then you fix it with standard needles and make sure that everything sits tightly on your head. It's better not to wash your hair on the very same day or right before, as your hair will be very soft and will lose the grip. In case you've already washed it, no problem. Just use a bit of hairspray, spray it onto your hair before and after plaiting. This provides better hold, so you can plate your hair easier. And they won't slip afterwards. If you are prepared, it's time for a... No, not a sock. This is a wig cap. Obviously, it looks like a sock, but the wig caps prevent the hair from slipping underneath the wig and make sure that it fits nice and tight on your head. You take it like a sock first, and then you put it on, very unsexy, on top of your own hair. You look a bit strange, like a bank robber, and you won't see any of it afterwards. The front of the cap, you pull it down, almost to your hairline, Free the ears, in your nape you pull it down so that all your hair is disappearing. If single hair still shows through, you can use a comb like this and simply again tuck it underneath until no hair can be seen anymore. Bis nichts mehr zu sehen ist. Wenn man dann so aussieht wie ich jetzt, mit dem Wig Cap aufgesetzt, dann ist man perfekt vorbereitet, um endlich die neue Perücke aufzusetzen. Ich habe sie jetzt schon hier auf dem Perückenständer. Im Original nimmt man sie dann natürlich aus der Box. Und dann When you look like me now, with your wig cap on, you are well prepared to finally put on your new wig. I already have it on the wig stand. If your wig is new, you of course take it out of the box first, you grab it here. Spread your finger and gently shake this little darling. This loses the hair and they sit more natural. If you have given the right shape and you feel ready, you turn your wig around. You see the little tag on the nape. This has to be on top now. Then you can either hold your wig in the back of the tag, lay it on the forehead and pull it over your head. I rather put it on sideways, just like this. And you can also make it easier and hold the front and the back. But then you put the wig on your forehead and pull it down over your head. Then you correct it slightly. Grab it on the sides and pull it down again until it sits nicely. Then you shake yourself. This makes your hair fall into a natural fit. You see that I pulled the wig too low on the front, otherwise I could see. You can easily correct it. By the way, I'm completely taking off my wig because with me it just didn't fit very well. But no problem at all. Every head is different, you have different sizes and shapes. Firstly, I put on my wig cap correctly, then you can change the cap size. Inside you feel these little velcro tapes, they are fixed to the cap construction. Herewith you can change the wig size, for approximately 1 to 2 centimeters looser or tighter. I make mine a bit firmer now, as it was sitting very wide. Also, on the other end, loosen the velcro strips and pull it. I hope I'm not I'm pulling it not too tight now. And now I will try it on again. Just check in what's the front and what's the back. Then take the tag upright, grab in and just pull it over your head. Then adjust the temples and shake. You see, it fits much better now. But I can still pull it down a little bit. Your hairstyle sits well now. The hair is still a bit tousled, so you just run your finger through like you do with your own hair. Now and then, single hairs might be still standing out, just brush them back with your hands. But generally speaking, your wig fits well. And you can always pull it down gently at the temple. There are also little sticks, just press them on, so the wig will sit a bit more firmly. 
and zaps are up, within seconds you have a brand new hairstyle. After you put on your wig, you can do anything with, just like your own hair. It means you can jump, you can shake your head, and you don't have to worry that the wig will move, nothing will happen, like falling off your head. It really sits nice and tight now. And it's the very same way with the styling, just try out what you like. Just one more advice, please don't use a hair dryer, straightener and no electronic curler, because the synthetic fiber is not heat resistant. Except heat, you can do almost anything. I always use synthetic hairspray or like a cloth spray to provide better hold and texture. If I like to style the fringe differently, you can fix it like that. You can also use a special wet gel. Work it into your tips and you will have a nice texture. You can play around with options that you like. At the moment I'm wearing a style that is very settled, but there are also different models that you can change completely. You can wear the fringe in the front or sideways, just find out what you like best. Depending on how often you wear your wig, you should of course wash it regularly. It's like with your own hair. If you wear your wig daily, I would recommend to wash it about once per week. And don't worry, after the washing, your wig will still remain beautiful. This is due to the special synthetic fiber. You don't need to worry that the wig will lose its shape or style. To wash your wig, I wouldn't take a standard shampoo, it's just not suitable for synthetic fiber. There are special care products like shampoo, conditioner, balsam from the Ellen Willer collection. It is similar to this hairspray. It's all in one collection and it's made especially for synthetic fiber. So you can be sure that the wig still looks as beautiful as before the washing. I will explain in another tutorial how to wash your wig. A care instruction has been included in every single box in my lifestyle collection. It's in the box next to the wig and you can always double check and read how simple you can clean and wash your wig. After washing and wearing, I recommend to place the wig on a wig stand like this. Or to put it on a polyform head to maintain the shape. You can of course also just put it back into the box and store it until you wear your wig the next time. I hope that I could give you some ideas how easy you can wear wigs, that you can wear them just without any effort and that you can transform your look within seconds. I'm looking forward if you join us again next time. Bye bye!